Ari Lennox is fed up with followers still complaining about her comments made about the Rod Wave tour. So you were just out here pretending to love me all of this time and secretly hate me? Because what the hell did I do to y'all? Thank you. Hi, so sorry. Because it's like, what did I do? I What happened? I blocked y'all because when I went on the damn tour, I was excited and y'all was like, why would you get on this tour? And I, and I didn't want to hear it. So I blocked you. And then I got on here and I was just like, yeah, the tour didn't go so great. And then they're like, you see, I told you so. I didn't want to hear it. So I blo Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> so I blocked you. Like, I don't really understand what I did wrong. I mean, you, you, t you talk shit about me. You're disrespectful to me. Uh, disrespectful to my label, disrespectful to my management, all of these things, constantly disrespecting me and being rude and being negative. Why would I want you in my life? I'm, thank you, sorry. You too, ma'am. Why would I want you in my life if, with all of this negativity? And I'm just like, damn, you are mad because it was you the whole time. But not just you. The reason why I distanced myself from everybody else was because I, I, I open up to people and then I feel like, oh, okay, you went and told the group chat. All right, fine. I, why would I ever open up to you again? Why would I ever open up to you again? You know, and then I find out, oh, y'all all just sharing everything I was talking to y'all about. Why would I ever open up to y'all? And, and you just want to control me and you want to disrespect me when I'm setting boundaries and I'm making it very clear. Don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to the people helping me with my shit like that. You know, so I'm just like, all right, if, if this is how it is, it's just like surprising. It's like, wow, this is what y'all would do. And then just assume that like I would know. I would know who's behind my damn Ari Lennox Twitter page. How the hell was I supposed to know who the hell was running? First of all, it was my Twitter page. What the f is happening? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, what is happening? It was my Twitter page. Sorry, if you can see I'm spitting a lot. It was my Twitter page. Like, people are mad because I'm just like, whoever is behind this, you're weird. Take it down. I didn't know who was behind it. And it's just like, why? Why would you take my fan page? I mean, why would you take my page pretending to be me and then talking about y'all ready for some new music? There's no new music. The voice changed. What did it sound like? No, big facts. Get some real friends. And I'm on that journey right now of like, trying to connect with people that I trust and for years I have used live as a best friend and it's it's not you know and I and I want to protect my friends that are close to me my business people that are close to me and and not burden them with the shit that's going on and I and sometimes I trust the wrong people but like whatever happens happens I'm not afraid of anything that I've opened up to them about but I'm just like shook it. Like, I really thought y'all were good people. That's all. I just, I just genuinely thought y'all, how you go from, how are you dragging me talking about my, my song is Paper Plate and your damn, your damn name is Tammy Terrell, an unreleased song of mine. You, I gave you the master folder of every song that I've ever made and for them to be so ungrateful and entitled just because I set boundaries like no no y'all don't get to talk to me like that no you don't get to talk about how I move like that no like I don't like that so like what is the problem what's the problem what's the problem I'm too nice I'm too giving, and that stops in 2024. It just stops. I'm tired. I'm tired. And I don't need friends that bad any more. Anymore. Anymore. I up. 
And but I didn't, because like I said, I'm not afraid of anything. It's just I'm shocked. It's like, really? But it's also like, duh, bitch. Like, <laughs> duh. Like, but it's it's also like you just I didn't think for something so small, people would have reactions this negative and aggressive. Like these are people that I thought with me i expect it every day from my haters but i it's just amazing to see how easily someone you think with you can just like that like wow because to mm, to and to try to tarnish my name in any way was more than enough was more than enough for me like wow like wow like that was more than enough for me like so it is what it is but like y'all are cool with that like this is your spirit like your spirit is cool with that like what is wrong what's wrong what did i do what really happened but i'm because i want a page that's pretending to be me getting people hyped up that music's about to come out and it's not <laughs> to to stop you know oh shit the cops so hell no so at this point like i said boundaries have been obliterated and i just i'm at my wits end like i fucked up by just i guess getting too close man it will never happen again you all know i'm dramatic i am sensitive i did go as far as to say i'm never doing meet and greets again that's a lie that's a damn lie um but i am going to be a lot more specific um and and a lot more strict about how i move especially when it comes to meet and greets because certain people will not be welcome you know who you are you're not welcome to my shows. I'm done. I'm completely done. You're not welcome to my shows. You're not welcome into my life. It's over. It's done. Whatever. Peace out. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.